guys, Brett here, brettdev.com. Still in Hanoi. Hanoi, much like um, Thailand, has a real booming coffee culture, coffee shops everywhere. It's also full of digital nomads and foreigners that are working online, either in coffee shops or co-working spaces, just like Thailand, just like Chiang Mai. As somebody who is basically glued to their laptop 24-7 and somebody who is pretty much obsessed with getting stuff done, I figured I'd check out some of the co-working spaces. Whilst here in Hanoi. So, in this video, I'm gonna check out as many co-working spaces as I can in the time that I'm here. I looked on Google and there are so many, I don't think I'll get to all of them, but I'm gonna check out as many as I can and let you know what I think of them. For this video, I wanted to visit a variety of different co-working spaces. I wanted to document some of the more cheaper, laid-back coffee shops that provide fast Wi-Fi and a place to work and get things done as well as the more expensive co-working spaces that have a far more corporate vibe to them and that are full with foreigners, programmers, and people that are seriously working. I wanted to visit locations across Hanoi, not just in one area. So my first trip was a little laid back coffee shop slash co-working space called Click Cafe. And this was located right up in the north of town. With Grab being so cheap in Hanoi, I jumped on the back of a motorbike and headed 30 minutes north from my hotel. The ride cost me just 40,000 dong, which converts to about head over to Google and you do a search for the click it will come up as a creative space for wanderers now like I said it's up at the north um, of Hanoi the old like the old quarter it's about 30 minutes on a grab and I've been told that this is where a lot of the expats actually live in Hanoi a lot of them stay up in this area so if you're staying in Hanoi this would be a great little place to check out if you want to work locally and you're living in that area it doesn't cost anything to come and visit all you need to do is get a coffee and when I was there it was not really busy whatsoever there was like me and I think one other guy in there it was completely empty the Wi-Fi was decent enough it was about 10 meg but I mean obviously it could be better but depending on what you're doing it's generally okay for just general work I suppose the coffee was really good and they had like all different types of coffees I think it was only like a couple of bucks for, for a cup of coffee what I liked about it was that obviously firstly it's free so you don't have to pay a membership or anything like that and the vibe was just really cool like it was really relaxing in there it's really laid back one thing I didn't like about it was the seating wasn't great but I guess if you're not going to be paying like a membership it is kind of just a coffee shop that caters for people that want to work on their laptops so you can't really expect the world when you're getting it for free so but still it's a great place to check out it's probably one of my favorite spots that I'd visited in Hanoi At these private offices. Yeah, but it's this. Ah? Uh -huh. No, this is bright, it's bright, and they're clean. I don't have key. Oh. They open. Oh, but is that private? You have to hire that or? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, cool, cool. And this is not a private office? Yes. So anybody can use this? Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, cool. All right. I only have the whiteboard as well, that's handy.
Okay, so this is private office, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And how much is it to rent one of these offices? Uh, about uh, 200,000 200, 200, yeah, 200, dong. 000, dong. Oh, that's cheap, right? Yeah. 200,000? Uh, or 2 million? 2 million. 2 million. Two million yeah. 6, six zero is just mean 2 million? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. And this is not private, no? This is like anyone can yeah. come. Okay. Cool. What are these shoes? <laughs> It's a local shoe. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys make these or? Yeah. Right, okay. Next up on my list to visit was a chain of co-working spaces called Tong. They have these all round Hanoi and all round the city, but the one I went to was in Trang Thi, which is just south of the old quarter. Now, this one was 1.9 million dong per month, which is about $80, or it was 150,000 dong for a day, which is about 650. Luckily enough, they were able to hook me up with a free day pass, so that was very nice of them. The Wi-Fi here was, was really, really good. It was about 50 meg down. I think it was about 75 meg on the upload. I'm not sure if they sold coffee, but when you went in there, coffee was free. They had like a coffee bar, like right in the middle of the room. And it was kind of like, help yourself. You can make your own coffee. This place is like really, really high end. So if you imagine like a really nice, expensive co-working space, good seats, good desks, and fast Wi-Fi. Uh, pretty much all you need to be fair um, this place did have private offices to rent as well as the memberships I did a couple of little shots of the private offices I'd say what I liked about it the most was was just that it was the seating it was the fast Wi-Fi it was the fact that if you were working full-time and you needed to not guarantee that um, you could get online that you weren't gonna have any problems then this would kind of be a really good solid base to kind of work out of one thing I didn't like about it was it was a little bit busy. Um, it was kind of packed. Most people that were working in there were foreigners. It was kind of a mix with 50-50 foreigners and 50% Vietnamese. But other than that, this is probably one of the nicest chains of, of co-working spaces in Hanoi, I would say. It's very, it's kind of up there with, with some of the best. There's some nice little outdoor areas and terraces. So places to kind of like relax and chill out. It's not really out in nature. It's like I said, it's like right in the heart of the city. So you're not really gonna get like what you got in the click co-working space with that super chilled, relaxed vibe. It's more of like a corporate vibe, but um, it's great. If you're staying in the in the old quarter and, and you're working online, maybe you're staying in Hanoi for a month or so, then you should definitely, I would suggest definitely coming by and, and checking out this Tong co-working space. Next up on my list was a place called Mind X, and I almost didn't even visit this co-working space because I looked on Google Maps, I was checking out, trying to find out where co-working spaces were that I could visit, and it was coming up on my map as a place called Nest, so I thought I was going to a completely different co-working space than I actually showed up at. 
I went in there and the people behind reception were super, super friendly. A guy called Andy there said, no, no, you're in the right place. This is a co-working space, but the name has changed. So he was super friendly, probably one of the nicest people I met on my trip to Vietnam. He gave me a full tour around this entire place. And this place used to be a actual technology school. And then he told me that they'd switched to like a co-working model because they weren't kind of filling the space all the time. But it's just southwest of the old core. It's a little bit far out, so it's a little bit difficult to get to. The price to visit this place is 650,000 dong or $30 for an entire month. Or it's 60,000, which is just $2.50 if you wanna go for a day. So this place is super cheap. The Wi-Fi is 100 meg when I tested it. It was 100 megabytes, so it's super fast. And another positive thing about this is you actually get free food, free coffee, and free lunch included in that price. So this is a really sweet spot. There weren't many foreigners there. Uh, it was mostly all Vietnamese. But so if you don't mind that, if you don't mind working in a place which is mostly Vietnamese people, this is this place was really cool. And the vibes there, like I said, the guy Andy who showed me around was very nice people were very friendly. If I was to stay in Hanoi and I was gonna stay in this part of the city and I didn't mind venturing out, I would definitely go and have a little look around this place, check it out and um, see if it's right for you because it was I thought it was really nice. The last co-working space that I visited was called The Mahogany. Now this is to the southwest of the old quarter, not too far out, maybe 10 or 15 minutes in the grab. This place is like brand new and it has really good seating, really nice Wi-Fi, but it is a little bit expensive. It costs $5 or 120,000 dong for the day or 2 million dong, which is about $85 for the month. It's slightly more expensive than Tong that I showed at the beginning of the video. There is coffee there if you want to grab a coffee, and it wasn't that busy, I would say it was about half full, but that may have something to do with the fact that it's new and not been open very long. The staff here were really, really friendly. The setup's nice, the seating's good, the Wi-Fi's fine. The only downside I would say perhaps to this place is that it is a little slight way out of the city, but I guess that just all depends on where about she's staying in Hanoi. Hope you enjoyed that video guys. There are literally so many co-working spaces all over Hanoi. When I first got there, everyone was asking me, um, how is it for Wi-Fi? Is it fast enough? Is it good enough to go there to be like a digital nomad to do work online? And I can assure you there is no problem there with the Wi-Fi and there is no shortage of co-working spaces. If you just go onto Google, you type co-working Hanoi, you're gonna see there are just so, so many of them. I was only able to visit four on this trip, but hopefully I'll go back soon and I'll um, maybe I'll cover some more for you if you like the video. If you wanna find out about the ones that I mentioned, I'll put a link in the description, I'll put links to the maps and all that good stuff. And if you wanna find out what I'm doing in those co-working spaces when I go there, you can also check out the link in the description. So make sure to check those out, and until next time, see you later.